How are you guys? Great, Good. fantastic. Fine. Congratulations on the film. You know, honestly, I'm when I first heard this Final Destination film, I'm like, oh, really? Mm -hmm. But it really exceeded my expectations. I enjoyed it. It's fun. Good. Good. Yeah. What about you guys? When they first offered you the, the part, what did you think? I, I've always been a fan of the I've seen every single one of the films. So as a, as a fan, it was really, really cool now to be in the next in the next installment. And then immediately you think, oh man, how am I gonna how am I gonna die? What's gonna what's gonna happen? Um, and then found out that it was being shot in 3D with you know a, a, a master of, of 3D art director Steve Quayle. So was exhilarated. Yeah, I'm a huge Final Destination fan, and I am. I'm a critic. You know, I I'm, I want to read that script. I want to know how it's going to go. You know, I'm. So I, when I read it, I was like, okay, this is this is some really good stuff. Right. They have little pieces from the first one through the fourth one. That dark humor. They up the bar with visual effects, and like Miles said, Stephen Quayle is unbelievable. He really nailed it for 3D. Yeah, and I think you know what the the deaths are all very, very, very well done, mm, very yes. creative, mm -hmm. like yours, mm -hmm. which that you're going to reveal, or yours, too. I mean, that I have to, like, close my eyes. No pun intended. <laughs> you know what I love about Final Destination 2 is that um, it's really about consequences, mm -hmm. how your action or how other people's actions can affect you. Mm -hmm. And literally, I walked out of the theater last night thinking about that. Like, oh my God, like I was driving. I'm like, oh, what's going to happen? Yeah. yeah. It scared me for a while. <laughs> it does make yeah. you more cautious, for sure. Right. <laughs> I, I know I have that, like, I, I just truly believe in your gut and intuition, and there's those times where you just think, hmm, should I leave the house right now? Somebody's telling me to just slow down or not go down this street. It's that your gut feeling. Right, so right. You never know. Things can happen. Wow. And you're a real gymnast, right? I was, yeah. Okay. I, I did gymnastics for 13 and a half years, and um, was just I felt so, so lucky to, to get to go back and, and train again. So you did. You went back and trained. And I did, wow. yeah. Um, I trained for about eight weeks. Um, like three hours a day, like right. five or six days a week, depending on our shooting schedule, and um, it was just, it was amazing, because I've always had, you know, ever since I quit, I was like, oh, I really want to go back, what, what if I hadn't have quit, so this is just a great form of closure to my gymnastics Aww. career. The crux of the film, too, is about premonition. Mm -hmm. Have you guys had that kind of... Art, yeah. Art sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you, you always have those kind of deja vu moments, and you think, wait a minute, I've, I've seen this before, this has happened before, and it's a little scary because there's no explanation for it, but it feels very, very, very real. So when it's something terrible, like an entire bridge collapsing and seeing, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, what, what, do you, what do you do in, in real life? Get the hell out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, again, and good luck, okay? Thank, Thank you. you.